And we've been focusing a lot on the reopening, right? The slow restart of the economy and what exactly states are doing to get everybody back to some kind of normal. Well, we're waiting for Governor Phil Murphy to unveil New Jersey's reopening plan. But joining me now live is Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop, who does have a plan today to reopen five of the city's parks today. So good morning to you, Mr. Mayor. First and foremost, let me ask you why you're unveiling this plan for these five parks before the governor has really come out and said what's in, what's in store for the entire state. Yeah, so uh, first it's five of our largest parks and after being closed for six, seven weeks, uh, you know, this is a decision about mental health and physical health. We know that in cities, urban areas, uh, parks are really crucial to mental and physical health and we think it's important, you know. Um, we don't hear a lot of uh, dialogue around when parks are going to open, so we think it's important to give uh, residents an outlet here. So why specifically now do you think, are you, are you seeing yep. maybe that we're past the peak in terms of cases, especially in Jersey City? Why today? Well, well, I, let, let me say this. I think that, uh, you know, six weeks is a long time to keep things closed. And as you saw last weekend, when the weather's turning, you know, we could pretend that people are going to stay in their house, which isn't realistic, or we can give them controlled, safe environments where they could go and actually release some energy, which is more healthy for them to do. So we think this is a decision in their best interest. And with the weather turning, maybe not today, is a little bit colder, but right. um, we do think this is the right thing to be doing. So when you say reopen, will there be some kind of COVID-19 restrictions? Because let me tell you, Saturday was a beautiful day. I can't speak for Jersey City, but I can yep. speak for what I saw in New York. There were a ton of people out in the parks and they were yep. congregating. They were sitting close together. They were on yep. lawn chairs. They brought out their beach towels. They were not wearing masks. So how do you enforce that to make sure that does not happen moving forward? Yeah. Yeah. So when we closed parks six, seven weeks ago, we were the first ones to do it. It was a very different environment. There was a lack of information, how the virus gets transmitted. Um, and people understand today. And I think we're at a point where you have to really trust residents that they're going to make good choices. People aren't going to be perfect, but you have to trust your residents that they're going to do what's right in these sort of situations. Now, absent of a, a, a vaccine or some sort of long term treatment, whenever a politician says that cases will spike when people go outside, that's probably accurate, but you can't live indefinitely inside and expect people to do that. So you got to find a balance and that's what we're trying to do here. So how does it look? All right, you reopen these five parks right there. Are there police inside those parks yeah. to make sure people aren't in close quarters yeah. that they're saying socially distant? And what about cleaning? <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, they clean these parks over the weekend. They're working on it now. There is signage up. You have to wear a mask. Uh, dog runs, playgrounds are not open. Um, you know, we're kind of using common sense through this. And as it works this week, then next week we'll open more parks and more parks. And, you know, we're gradually going to open the city best we can. Today we return street sweeping. It hasn't been going on for six, seven weeks. Yeah. People don't like that, but it's a necessity in the city. So, um, you know, we're trying to do our part to kind of move forward, which I think is important. You can't just tread water forever. Yeah, I don't want to hammer home the point here, but again, are you going to have police there or parks police there to, to make yeah. sure people are wearing masks yeah. and being right. safe about this? Yes, sorry about that, Dan. So the answer is yes. Uh, we have police personnel here today and uh, people from a recreation department. They're going to make sure with a gentle touch, letting people know that you're required to wear a, a mask in the park. Um, the, it's for passive use, open space. There's going to be no basketball or sports activities. So there are rules and signage that we put up today, and there are going to be people in the parks making sure that that's enforced. Was this something that you were working in coordination with the governor about or talked to the governor about? No, because uh, municipal parks, per his executive order, are left to municipalities. And it's not a one-size-fits-all for the entire right. state of New Jersey. You have some real rural areas and you have some dense areas. And so here we are in a densely populated area. It's very, very different than, let's say, East Windsor in central Jersey. Exactly. And overall, for the, for the city of Jersey City, how are you doing in terms of cases? Are you seeing a decline here? Well, I, you know, I think it's like uh, uh, you're going to gradually continue to see an increase in cases. That's just the trend that you're seeing. It's slowed. You know, we have an active communication with our hospitals consistently. They're seeing positive trends on that front. So, you know, I, I think until we see a vaccine or some long term treatment, we're going to be in this situation. So you got to make smart decisions about how to reopen in a responsible yeah. way. And that's what we're trying to do. And lastly, just a few seconds left here. You said there's a slow, gradual approach to reopening this city. Is there a is there a date yeah. where you'd like to see restaurants open or it's just too early to tell? Yeah. 
Well, so that goes to the governor, but what we're trying to do on the municipal front is put in place ordinances and laws that will allow more outdoor seating to facilitate better business for those restaurants. So we're starting to put our policies in place. When he gives us the green light, we'll be ready to hit the ground running. Understood. Okay. Mayor Stephen Phillip, I do appreciate you making the time for us this morning. Okay. Thanks. Continue to stay safe to you and your family.